this is Michael Rubin. Do you hear that shaky sound that I was playing? This is called vibrato. There's lots of ways to do vibrato, and this is a throat vibrato, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. To really play vibrato, there has to be a quick differentiation between two pitches, low to high. So if I were to slow this down, it would, might sound something like this. High, low, high, low. So to really get a throat vibrato, you have to be breathing in the direction where the hole has the capacity to bend. So on holes one through six, you can bend on the draw notes, but you can't bend on the blow notes. In holes seven through 10, it's the opposite. You can bend on the blow notes, you can't bend on the draw notes. Therefore, you can really only get a throat vibrato in holes one through six draw and holes seven through 10 blow. You can imitate a throat vibrato on the opposite breath direction, but what you wind up getting is called a tremolo, which is a quick differentiation between quiet and loud. So I'm going to do three blow and get a tremolo, because I can't bend three blow. Now I'm on two draw, which is the same note, and I can bend so I can get a vibrato. Okay, so how do you do it? First off, you want to do one long inhale breath. So I'm going to blow out to get some room in my diaphragm. Just one long inhale. Because it's not starting and stopping. It's not this. If you do that fast enough, it's probably going to turn into a vibrato. But that's not really what vibrato is. Vibrato is like a river with waves in the river. So you need to find a way to create that pulse with your throat while continuing to inhale a steady stream of air. So the words I use is who, who, who. And I kind of sound like a monkey. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is draw in, and then I'm going to say who, 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 and I'm not going to do any of the other things that I do to make a vibrato happen. There's more than one thing that I do. So first, I'm going to just draw in. Getting rid of air, so I have a lot of room in my belly. Okay, so when that's coming together, and you can practice that with a metronome, you can get a click going, click, click, click. And then twice as fast, click, click, click. Three times as fast, click, click, click. Four times as fast, click, 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 click. Right? So when that's coming together, then we need to start thinking about how the vibrato actually makes the note go lower and higher. Well, this is a bending technique. So we're going to start by putting our tongue in the most common bending position, which is, if this is the floor of the mouth, <laughs> and here's the back bottom teeth, and here's the back bottom gum line, I'm going to take the tip of my tongue and place it on the floor of the mouth, about a center be centimeter behind the back bottom gum line. And then I raise the back of my tongue as high as I can in a hump. Okay? So I'm not going to worry about making the note go up and down and up and down by changing my tongue. I'm just going to put my tongue in the bend position. So first, 
without my tongue in the bent position. Now with. The next thing I do is to realize that my breath has direction. I can send it down, I can send it up, I can send it left, I can send it right. And one of the ways you can learn about this is to put the palm of your hand up by your belly and blow away the feather. And then you can put the feather up here and keep the feather in the air. You can send your air up and down. So I'm going to draw in and not send my air up and down and not have my tongue in the bend position. Now I'm going to send my air up and down. Now I'm going to do all three. I'm going to put my tongue in the bend position. I'm going to send my air up and down. And then I'm going to start saying who, who, who. Then if I open and close my hands, I've got a pretty good throat vibrato. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you soon. Thanks very much.